All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how we got this ball screw to actually get it scaling properly done for a set millimeters that it's supposed to run, right? So this ball screw happens to be a five millimeter pitch ball screw, meaning every rotation, it has basically five millimeters of travel. And so what happens is what we need to do is go into our um, actual conversion calculator right here well we can go into drive in this case I'm using a uh, just in case everybody wants to know it's a little bit different when it comes to sit motion but with that said it's the same principle same theory of operation same everything so I mean it's just a different point where you have to go to change that plus they have a lot more variables so when it comes down to it this is a uh, kinetic 6000 and what we're going to be doing is going to be going to look at the calculation. So uh, what we know for a fact, because we measured it, right? We know that we have five millimeters, right? We have five millimeters per, per one revolution. So we expect the motor or we expect the, the object, right? The, the block on, on the ball screw to move five millimeters every time one single rotation of the motor happens. So then we can easily just come over here and calculate and get our numbers right here. And then we can choose update. Now that's how I got the information and that's how I got everything working. Now let's do some system testing and let's actually see this working. So uh, with this said, let's go in here and you have to forgive my you know, setup right here. I just temporarily set this up on my table um, so that you know we were doing some testing and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure that it's a prime time to actually you know do some, you know, actually education and, and try to help everybody as much as we can so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on so our motion axis direct commands okay so we're going to turn the servo on and make sure it does turn on so first we'll turn it off then we'll turn it on make sure it does turn on so it is in servo control right now all right, so at that point, I have a small scale so you can see where it's at right now. Right now it is at 20 millimeters. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna do an MAM and we want to go incremental moves. And then our position, if we are currently at 20, let's just say we wanna to go to 40, okay? And then we'll, let's put our speed in here. So the uh, attributes and how everything I, I have laid out, the speed of five is gonna be fairly reasonable slow so as soon as I hit execute it should actually uh, move up 40 millimeters so that let's actually go 20 so that it doubles what it is and you can see on the scale the what it what it is so you can see right there that it does move and it does move out to 40 so with that said what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to we can do that one more time or we can just double that right so let's go to let's increment to 40 right and if we increment to 40 what that's going to do is it's going to move 40 millimeters okay so we already have all our attributes set to millimeters we're going to go ahead and move that to and then move it to 40 millimeters so you can see on the scale that it is actually moving per what we set the constants at so what we set the scaling to again this is a very simple scenario because this is a, a motor directly connected to a ball screw and that ball screw just all you have to know is the conversion of that ball screw which happens to be the measurement so you measure from thread to thread the center of the thread to thread and you that's your pitch and that's how I got the pitch on this so um, in this case uh, let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and do another move of 40 now if you wanted to move it backwards I'll show you how to do that as well so what we'll do uh, when we're doing system testing and commissioning like that, you can do incremental moves. You can actually put in a negative value. And again, make sure you're in incremental, not absolute. Incremental is very important because when you're doing testing or commissioning or whatever the case may be, you wanna make sure that you're doing incremental moves, not absolute, okay? Now you can do absolute, just make sure your system is actually homed properly or you will cause machine damage or even trip your servo out, which hopefully tripping your servo out first will happen. So let's uh, move it backwards 40 millimeters this time. So at this point, it's going to move backwards 40 millimeters. Okay, now as soon as it stops, 
we are at 80 millimeters right now. So essentially, if I wanted to put it back at 20, I would just take it back to 60, right? I would take it back. Because if we were at 80, we subtract 60, uh, it's pretty obvious we're gonna go back to our point of 20 millimeters. So that's, very, that's where we started at the very start of the video is we started right at 20 millimeters. And you can see that. Now the, again, that scale, I wish I had a scale that was bigger and it showed you, you know, things that, you know, it, it kind of laid it out, but working with what I had right now, that's, this is about, you know, obviously it gives you a, a really, really good idea of how things are. So if we go 100 and we move out, that should be 120. So if we move it out 120, so right now it's sitting at 20. So we know if we increment a hundred millimeters, we're going to be at 120. And this will be our last move just to kind of show you how that works. But the, again, now it's it's moving out to in a positive direction, right? It's moving out to that hundred or hundred. It's incrementing a hundred millimeters, which will end up being 120 because we were at a uh, 20, but to begin with. Okay, so now we're at 120, and we can easily see that. So let's, if we wanted to go back, again, uh, to our set point, or let's just say we wanted to go to zero, let me put it this way. Let me put it at five, and let me go to absolute and show you what that does. Because if I go to a position of five, that's gonna, that's, it knows right now it's homed all the way with the block against that. So when the block is completely against the, uh, the actual frame or what the servo amounts to, what it is, is it's basically zero. So if I put five, it's gonna be really close. So if I do an absolute move, it's gonna move that block to that position that servo knows. So if I had already not honed the servo, I could have you know, actually caused some damage or I could have tripped my servo out or that case. So in this case, it's gonna to go to five millimeters and then it will stop at that point you see it does stop right before the block the end of the block and that way you can easily see that now the same thing can be said for an absolute move being that i i am indicating now hey i do have it homed if i wanted to move it out to 100 millimeters then it's going to be an absolute move now again when it comes down to movement again now i'm moving to 100 millimeters i'm not moving i'm not going to be plus five i'm going to be just to 100 so it should stop right at 100 okay so as it did and that's just to show you exactly how things go again we'll come back and we'll rest this thing back at five and then we'll basically end that so hopefully you know that gives you a base understanding of you know m how movement's done how to get the pitch how to understand the pitch of a simple conversion constants um, again this is a little bit different when it comes to sit motion but again it gets a lot simpler when it comes to that um, I'm currently waiting on a drive to come in for sit motion so hopefully that does happen and we can start training and, and showing you the setups of that but with this said again the principles and the theory of operation are exactly the same guys so please understand that one translates to the other directly always turn your servo, servo off when you're doing motion access direct commands and make sure you use absolute safety so again i have no nothing in involved in this right so there's zero things that i could actually you know either a safety wise hurt myself or either b damage the equipment which all it is is a ball screw sitting on on a desktop right so with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video we'll see you guys on the next one